What's the perfect guitar for beginners? You see a lot of cool guitars here around me, a lot of different guitar styles. And every guitar has its own personality. I mean, they do not only share um, the same amount of strings, they also share some other stuff, but in some terms they are quite different. I mean, of course, you've heard of the terms of acoustic guitars like this one or maybe this one. And you've heard of electric guitars, give me a second, like this beauty here, or of course a more common one, but not less cool to me, this Strat here, just a classic guitar of course. And there are so much more different models and you're probably watching this video because you're pretty much overwhelmed by the amount of guitars out there and the styles out there. There are rumors out there that I've heard of, of course, um, which say you should definitely start on an acoustic guitar like this, which is also called a classic or classical guitar. But to me, this is all not true because First of all, this guitar is called a classical guitar because it's obviously used for classical music like Bach, whatever. Or there are also guitars in a um, pretty similar style which are meant for flamenco. But of course, this um, guitar is also used in pop music, for example. But to me, um, it has a certain sound to it. And for example, a song like this you might know. known song uh, by Eric Clapton and th this song was played on a classical guitar and you already heard the sound it's quite mellow and soft I played it with the fingers not with a plaque but of course you can also play it with a plaque but this is already a whole different thing and has its certain its own sound if you go and take another acoustic guitar, you get something like this. I mean, different brands, colors, whatever, shapes, um, but here the strings are not made out of nylon or plastic, like, oops, like it is on here in parts. Um, the upper three strings on this guitar are made from plastic. The others are some wound uh, strings. It has the sound I just played for you. And this guitar here, the black one, has its own sound too, because those strings are all made of metal. And no, it's not a metal guitar, just because it's black, it's an acoustic guitar, for playing stuff like this. Whatever a nice instrument to strum on, it has its very own sound, it sounds way more percussive than the other one, more edgy and it's used on so many recordings in pop music, in rock music, in country, whatever. Such a versatile instrument, uh, but it feels also a little bit. The neck is thinner than on a classical guitar, no? Um, but that also means it's easier to grab the neck because it's smaller, but it's also the strings are closer to each other so one mind might find that better, the other one would say, oh, I like this one here because I have much more space to put my fingers on the strings. But to me, it's more important to listen to the sound again um, and to really see what's your favorite sound. Why are you looking for playing the guitar? Now we're coming to the electric guitars, of course, and this opens up again another whole different world here because we have so much variety in terms of sound. Distortion, you also might have a guitar which is capable of more cleaner sounds, of course. There's so many different styles. I just want to make sure you get an image of the sounds 
that are possible with all of those guitars. You can also, of course, pluck the strings on guitars like this and play You see, you can do a lot of cool and calm stuff of an, on an electric guitar, of course, too. And this feels more, in terms of um, the neck and the strings, which are all out of metal, too, more like a um, guitar like this, like an acoustic western guitar, you also call it. So this is a classical guitar. This is a, a steel string western guitar. This is an electric guitar, of course, because you need an amplifier for it. This is closer together in terms of how it feels on the neck. Electric guitar has uh, not that heavy strings usually on it, so it plays a little easier, of course, especially for solo lines. If you... This is more the style you do on an electric guitar. Of course you can play solos, of course you can play solos on acoustic guitars, but for a certain style it's more common to play it on an electric guitar. And of course we have models like the really nice one here in the back. It's beauty. <laughs> Which is also again a different model. I mean, to be true, we guitar players also listen with our eyes. <laughs> we want to look good on stage. So this might be something you just always dreamed of and then it would really not make any sense to start on a guitar like this because someone told you to start on something like this. Again, the neck is thinner of course than on such a guitar like this. This can be to your advantage or to your disadvantage, it depends on your taste. But to me it's more important that you check yourself and ask yourself what music what do you want to play on a guitar. If you're not sure if you want to play something heavy like this. And if you don't want to rock out that heavy, you should probably try to play at least without um, distortion and play more something like this. And so on. You know the thing. I just wanted to play to you. You have versatility on electric guitars, but still this is a rock song. Um, so you might ask yourself the questions, am I more like a, a guy who want, or a girl who wants to play not that much of heavy rock music, then you should probably stick to an acoustic guitar. So now for beginners, this because this was the entrance question, to me it's way more important that you check out for yourself, if you're a beginner, what music do you like? And if you're not that kind of a, of a perfect answer for you, I would recommend you to go into a store or all the one online, if that's not possible because the music store is too far away from you, to order at least one of those guitars and just start out. I would recommend you then to start on an acoustic guitar because it's an instrument where you can really start, start out on your own without an amplifier and it's really um, an instrument where you can play a lot of stuff on of course and you can take it any way you want and you already have uh, sound with you. I mean of course there are possibilities doing that with an electric guitar too but to me it's easier for the for a beginner to say okay let me just strum some chords and stuff and then I would just uh, ask yourself the question which sound do you like better? Do you like this more really mellow and um, warm sound of a classical acoustic guitar or do you are you more into those classic western guitar styles? Like, I mean, I played some really cheesy classics here, but I just want to make sure you know um, what we're talking about, what kind of music we're talking about. I mean, of course, you can also play rock songs and you can rock out on an acoustic guitar. So this will sound so much different on this guitar here. So take a look in your brain, in your ears, what you want to achieve for a kind of sound. Because to me, they all make sense in their own way. We are, they all have six strings and they all share the same voicings and chords and chord progression theories, all the same on them. And um, what you learn on a guitar like this, you can 
uh, adapt on a Western guitar and on an electric guitar, of course. But to me, you should ask yourself, what sound do you have in mind? What artists do you love? Take a look on uh, Google what instruments they play, uh, if, you, if you're not sure about that. And this is the most important question to choose a guitar for you as a beginner. Because to me, you can learn the stuff the easiest way if you're motivated, if you have fun playing what you're hearing. This is the most important thing for me and the, um, uh, this should um, influence your decision the most. And of course, looks are also important. If you want an electric guitar, take a look. If you find something crazy like this or something like this, there are so many options. But to me, it's important that you really check out uh, what music you love. So, Thanks for watching and again, I would like to advise and recommend you my free course which you find in the description below. There's a link there. You will get tons of information that are usable and really important for you if you're working with me here on this channel or if you're new in the world of guitar playing in general. So, thanks for watching guys and if you have any questions or any things you want to say about this video, post them in the comment down below.